people don't want to hear that. They get latched on, then here comes that wedding train. Mm -hmm. You get on that, it's hard to jump off. So lots of women start to see red flags early on in relationships and they don't act on them. They go ahead sometimes as early as when they're engaged. They see these red flags and they keep going. So how can we teach women to trust their gut, trust their instinct and actually, you know, do the right thing in the beginning? Great question and the red flags are there from the very beginning. People just proceed in the relationship and get to the engagement phase or even get married ignoring you know, they become black flags at that point. You know, literally, it's like right in front of your face and people are ignoring what's staring at them, the reality, because people want to find happiness and we're good natured and good intentioned souls and as human beings and we want to believe in the goodness, I think, of other people. And you don't want to believe that someone may not be in love with you. It's too painful. You don't want to believe that someone may not be as crazy about you as you are about them. You don't want to believe that that person is not your ideal soulmate. You invested so much time. You spent so much That's time with this person. I gave myself to this person. Mm -hmm. I devoted myself to this person. So in order to prevent those things from happening, you have to pay attention up front. You have to really know what the red flags are and you have to have an education the same way about signing a contract and knowing what your expectations are from each other in a relationship. You also make notes, pay attention. He or she said this, we went to this place, you know, this rubbed me the wrong way. Go back and revisit in three months if you're getting that same feeling again and see if it's there. I think a lot of people just stay because it's, it's easier. Exactly they think it's easier. Just agreeing on it. It's a lot of time invested. Yeah. And yeah. you invest all that time. And then sometimes it's embarrassing mm -hmm. to try it's and get out of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just don't feel that you're going to find somebody else. Yeah. And you put all this time one. in yeah. already. So let's just go ahead with it and see yeah. what happens. I know. I think, you know, I think a lot of times people think they can uh, change. I'm going back to the change yep. thing because I really feel, and I would say more so women than men, feel like, oh, yeah, but you know, that, when he loves me pass. more, when yeah. we're married, when this happens, this will change. And really, I think certain fundamental stuff, you know, I think thing, people change. But people have to change because they want to change. They don't change because their spouse it. wants them to change or that somebody else wants it. It can't be externally driven. You can externally support it if someone internally is motivated to change. But you really can't want it for somebody else if they don't want it for themselves. So I think this change thing is, is fundamentally important to realize. I mean, I think that we all owe it to ourselves and the people that we're in relationships with to either accept them as they are or let someone who can appreciate that or deal with it be with that person or let that person deal, you know, if it's something fundamental, some substance abuse issues, let that person deal with it and you possibly support them if they're internally motivated to doing it. But don't think that you're going to um, be the person, be the woman who's going to, you know, change yeah. it around and, and fundamentally change something. But, yeah, I mean, I think yeah. it's also the nature of the change, you know, which right. which you're touching on, which is what what are the, is this other person asking you to change? And in what ways are they asking you to change? And those can be red flags. So how can we help women to have the courage to act on these gut feelings? And some things are really obvious. He's cheating, probably not a good relationship, it's right? It's over. It's Cheater, over. It's the next. It's so the water. when that's happening, like a lot of these things are at engagement or at this stage are very subtle. You know, it's like his anger peaks mm -hmm. or he gets, you know, like he's funny with finances or something. It's, it's subtle things. Like how can we teach women to trust their instincts and their gut so that when she senses these things that she knows to go to somebody trusted. She knows to talk about it. She doesn't just brush it under the rug and go, oh, better not tell anybody this is kind of embarrassing. Well, the well that happens. I think, I think that that's why people sometimes don't because mm -hmm. they don't want to hear. They don't want to, you know, and in my book I talk about, are, you know, here's a list of things that you might be afraid to do because you don't want to hear your best friend say, this guy sucks, he's yeah. not for you. Yeah. People don't want to hear that. They get latched on, then they, then, you know, then here comes that wedding train. Mm -hmm. You get on that, it's hard to jump off. Very. And it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage. Women need to be educated to have the courage to say when they see even a yellow flag, make note of it. Be conscious as we keep going back. Be aware of your own self and your own life. It's you're in charge of yourself. Why not want that for yourself? Why not be aware of, why would you say, 
yeah, I'm gonna allow this behavior. You know, it, it is a very conscious and aware part, but women need to get to that part. So it sounds like when it comes to red flags that there's a bunch of them that we could all pay attention to and that women watching could really, you know, use to learn from and that men don't change. And if you see these signs early in relationship, you need to pay attention, get some help. You know, if you're struggling with it, you can't figure it out, find a trusted friend, a therapist. But at the end of the day, don't wait. Pay attention and listen. And it's the only way you're going to avoid this becoming a big problem in the future.